Thank you for joining the Crypto Authentication Webinar, Chapter 3, Authentication Explained. First, some basics. Encryption, from the time of Julius Caesar until now, has been used to protect messages from being read by unintended people. It is about encoding and decoding a message. Authentication is the other major pillar of cryptography. Authentication is about making sure something is real by confirming the identity of the sender by using some type of verification procedure. To put it very simply, authentication is about keeping something such as a product, firmware, or software real. It can be used in numerous types of systems and platforms. There are two basic types of authentication, symmetric and asymmetric. If the secret key is shared on both sides, it is symmetric. If the keys are different on each side, then it is asymmetric. The keys in the asymmetric case will be mathematically related with one being the public key and the other private. Only the private key needs to be protected. Now, let's look at how symmetric authentication works. As noted, symmetric authentication uses the same key on the host and client. Authentication occurs when a host verifies that its key and the client's key match. The sameness of the keys on each side is how symmetric is defined, which makes perfect sense, right? This diagram shows an authentication process between a host and client called challenge response. In this case, both the client and the host have an ATSHA 204A device inside and each device has the same secret key. Like you might expect from the name, challenge response describes the essence of how this process works. The process starts when the host sends a random number called the challenge from the ATSHA 204's random number generator to the client. It does this at the time it wants to verify if the client is real, such as when an ink cartridge is inserted into a printer. This step is called the challenge. The client receives the random number challenge and runs it through a hash algorithm using the secret key stored there. The result of the hashing function is called the response. It is also called a message authentication code, or MAC. The response is then sent to the host. The host internally runs the same challenge number, in other words, the random number, it's sent to the client through a hash algorithm using the secret key stored on the host side to get the host digest. Then, the host compares the host digest with the response digest from the client. If the two digests match, then the client is verified. In summary, the principle behind this is that a real client will have the same key, and so the calculations will be identical, and that is the verification. You can see by now that cryptographic algorithms, the steps, defense mechanisms for secure storage, as well as testing, demo, and software support are provided by Atmel. Because Atmel does all the crypto engineering, the user does not have to become a crypto expert. Atmel makes it easy to keep it real.